Welcome to Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine Web Show. My name is Jackie and I am very excited to be sharing with you some of our magazine's most popular tips and tricks while using some of the hottest scrapbooking supplies in the industry today. On today's show we're going to be introducing the color box stylus. These come with both black foam tips and white foam tips. For today's show we're going to focus on the black foam tips. So we take it out, we put it on the stylus like this, and we're going to turn this stylus into a unique stamp. We're going to do this by turning on our heat gun, heating up the black foam tip just like this, and we're going to heat it until it changes a slight, slightly different shade of black. After it's nice and hot, and before it starts smelling, you're going to push it into the molding mat just like this until you feel the design melting into the black foam tip and you're going to lift it up and you're going to see this very nice design that is now embedded in the black foam tip. It's ready for stamping. So let's see this bad boy in action. We are going to be creating this card today. It's a Mother's Day card that Katarina Doyle designed especially for us using the color box technique that we just showed you. And gather up some supplies. Katarina used some great We Are Memory Keepers pattern paper, some Harmony uh, laser cut chipboard, some color box fluid chalking, and we also used some Spellbinders Nest Abilities. And these are called Nestability die cuts because it's one shape that gets smaller and smaller and smaller so that we can cut out or die cut different shapes and then layer them on top of each other for a great matting effect. One of the best things about Spellbinders is that you can use these die cuts in any machine. And for today's project, we cut out these hearts using the Stampin' Up! Big Shot. So to embellish or to make these hearts jump out a little bit better, we're going to grab our color box stylus, we're going to load it up with ink, and we're using a white foam tip this time, that's what you need to use for ink application. We're going to load it up, get it nice and juicy, and then we're going to just go around the edges just like this, and you can see the pink coming off so nice, and it's going to make that heart just pop. Okay? We'll set those aside. The next thing that we're going to do from the We Are Memory Keepers paper pack is grab a, a sheet of patterned paper, create a card any size that you like. Go back to the stamp that we created, load up some light ink, just like this, and start stamping that gorgeous garden that you see that Katerina has made on her card. Then we're going to grab another design that we created earlier we're going to go in some darker ink just like this load it up same thing and get some nice layering effect with the darker and the lighter colors we take our hearts we're going to decide where we want them one like that one like that use our tape runner glue it on where we like it. Use some scrapbook adhesive foam squares so that we can get a dimensional heart. Pop them on. Using the foam squares gives your card some dimension and makes it more 3D and uh, a little bit somehow more interactive. I'm a little bit addicted to foam dots, I won't lie. Earlier on we, uh, using the Spellbinders die cut, machine we cut out some white hearts from cardstock and we're going to create this little mum title that you see right here. We're going to do this with some great alphabet stamps from Nikki Civils. These are a perfect size for journaling and for cards. Now I already have them uh, stamped on here but what I'm going to show you is how fantastic our acrylic stamps can be because we can stamp exactly where we want to stamp, perfect positioning every time. So I've got my acrylic stamp in place, load it with some ink, and then I'm going to go right over top that M, just like so. And you can see that it got a little bit darker. Then what I'm going to do is decide how I want my mum to go.
we're going to make some little stems. And we're going to glue this rickrack on uh, to be the little stems that you see here. We'll just cut out five. The tricky part about um, adhering rickrack is, is that it's so thin. So you might want to use a thin double-sided adhesive or you can use liquid glue. I'm going to use liquid glue on one just to show you how it comes out, just like that. And then I'm going to stick it under this heart and adhere it into place. And then afterwards I'm going to go and cut off the edges here so I don't have to worry about perfect. For a final touch of this card, we're going to use the Harmony chipboard. I'm going to just punch this out. These laser cut shapes are just absolutely gorgeous. I love uh, what they've done with their pieces. And we're going to adhere them. One right there it looks like Katarina has, and one right here. Uh, you have to be a little bit choosy with the kind of adhesive that you use. I'm going to use an liquid adhesive. Uh, you have to let it dry before I pick it up or it'll all fall off. But you can also use glue dots. They work out nice. The good thing about wood chips is, is that although they add bulk to your layout, they actually don't add a lot of weight. So, they're nice. I'll adhere that one. And there you go. That was our created card that I showed you earlier. And it looks fantastic. It's ready to go for your mom. What we've done, uh, one of our designers has taken this technique and she has added it to her scrapbooking page. So what you can see here is she created those flowers uh, up here like this. And then for the center, she used some We Are Memory Keepers chipboard. And then for a final little touch, she's added those beautiful Harmony chipboard pieces. Um, really a fabulous technique with the, uh, the stamp color box tool that you're going to love. What I want you to do today is I want you to get in your car, go to your scrapbooking store, and buy some of these bad boys. You will not regret it. Until next time, take care and happy scrapbooking.